this is Charlie from Charlie's System World of Adventures and today I'm going to give you my review on Ant-Man and the Wolf's Quantumania. Yeah. Yeah. In this one, when Scott's daughter Cassie has, has created the sat antelope like that can send and send a signal to the quantum realm. However, when trying it out, it actually sucks up Scott, Hope, Cassie, C, Janet and and Hank down into the quantum realm, with Scott and Cassie being separate from the rest of the group. Oop. Oop. Now the five must find a way to reunite, get back home, and and take a con on a new conqueror named Hank. And so I really liked the first two Ant Man films. I thought the first was pretty enjoyable, but I thought the sequel was even better. That being said, and I, and even before I watched those two films, from the trailers alone, I was really excited for Quantumania. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was going to be an amazing film. Film in every way. I, I was, I was immediately hyped. Then I saw the review. Use is where people have mixed. It, but I didn't let the review stop me. Me, I, me, I was pretty excited for this film. Um, and and I still watched it. And I, and I think that uh, this is going to soon be on my list of the most under of the most underrated MCU films. Because this film for me was really good. I, I really like this movie. I'll start with its strongest aspect: the characters. Characters, each of them, them are very interesting. They and often do so. I to them that we've not seen before. Or starting with Scott, he he now has the perfect life. He's an Avenger. A superhero, well, he, well, he's living the ex con life. I've and now he's even written his own book. Look, however, but there's one thing in, in his life that's more important to him than than all of that, and that is Cassie. See, see, as the film goes on, you realize that everything that Scott's doing, he's trying to do to, do for. Him. Or his daughter's daughter, so she can live in a normal life that he wasn't able to. It, which makes it Scott or quite an engaging protagonist that you you want to root, on, root for as the film would progress. Speaking of which, Cassie would find find herself in a similar place of Ace of Scott. Art did in the first film going going down the con line. I, however, the, uh, the reason why is that she wants to help <laughs> help change the world in her own way. And even become a new shrinking heel, Structure, who actually appeared in more scenes than I thought she was. <laughs> as, as, seriously, I was surprised. That, as for Hope, Hank and Janet, it, they would have their own side plot of trying to find I can see see what well, Janet actually offers some interesting character development but until herself uh, El she knows the most about, about the quantum realm um, and all its dangers just just but the main aim we, Ethan why I was excited for this film and was that it was gonna be introduced to seeing the new main vip in and of the MCU, Kang the Conqueror. Conqueror. We already got a glimpse of him in Loki, but this is our first full taste east on him. And honestly, really, I think Thanos might have some competition. 
action. He's quite an exciting antagonist. And I of all the Ant-Man villains is so far the best one. Right. And I really, really like what they did with him. And I can't wait to see him in the rest as of the multiverse saga. Yeah. The, and then the, there's Modoc, who serves in a way as Kang's assistant. And I wouldn't go further but for spot of reasons, but inside all that armour lies a twist villain. Yeah, you, you thought it was rather right but Marvel did those. Don't worry, I thought so too. It, now I understand that at the one and to give Scott more than just a big big friend as well as Kang the Conqueror. But when it comes to who who they are, while very unexpected, I still have no idea how they even exist in the first place. There was an idea, but the execution makes it sound um, confusing. Seriously, they made certain like idea look like Thanos in comparison. <laughs> and And, but even if the characters are great or, or or confusing, we can all agree that the actors do really do, do a good job of. Oh, in fact, in my opinion, this is Paul Rudd's best performance as Scott. Oh, with how he, he handles the extra emotion that the character has in this film. A film that was done really well. Oh, next there's the story. Wait, wait. Well, oh, I don't know if you guess as with how I feel from Modoc, but twists aren't the best thing that this movie offered. So, uh, it's not to say that none of them were surprising or anything. In fact, there were a few like Modoc's items coming. I mean, in, it's just that all the twists I didn't see coming are sometimes the most confusing. And you know that it's the problem and the most unexpected is like make like more, less sense than the more predictable twist. Is the fact of and the more predictable twist is better to the and the more or unexpected to one's identity coming is surprising. But despite this movie not being good at twist, I will admit it offers one of the strongest story out of the trilogy. <laughs> Gee. Hey, and, and I'd say this is mainly with the relationship between Scott and Cassie. See, yes, Wasp is still in this film. <laughs> um, um, in fact, I, 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 I find her up, up better better than um, how other people even find her at arc. Then again, that's just my opinion. Yeah, but the true start was the relationship between Scott and Cassie. See, they've had their differences that have put one of them apart, but you can tell the two care for each other, especially on Scott's side where he, well, he wants to do everything in for, for his peanuts. Let's make sure or he, or she lives the perfect life that, that he wouldn't be able to. On top of that, at this movie plays itself more seriously than the other two Atman films. Now, not to say it's the humans, but in fact, and I found the humor to be great in this film. Um, it's just that this ain't the funniest movie of the trilogy, if you know what I mean. It, um, but when the movie does get serious, it gets intense. And with some of the most, most exciting moments of the MCU that leaves you on the edge of your seat. Eat. Eat. And then there are the fish walls. Well, from the trailers, I was going to call this the best looking king movie for the Ant Man trilogy. But now I have this one of my favourite looking MCU movies. Please. Please. One of the strongest biggest part of the Ant Man films, especially, is with the use of effect. Whenever Ant Man was or strapped or have to use, use their suits to change size, 
eyes the entire world around them changes. Just where they can seem big from the size of an ant or the size of a giant, uh, they can they can seem in quite small. Oh, 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 and the effects actually work well to make the action scenes as intense as they can be. But also, you know, I'll, I'll without spoiling anything, the final battle between Scott and Can is one of the most intense final battle fights I've seen in a Marvel movie. See, it, seriously, it gave me chills while watching. Jin. But the best part of this movie visually is with the quantum realm. Um, 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 the movie does a good job to show this as a secret universe underneath ours. Ours, with all the different effects around and it, and how the scale and it makes some of the places look big. It, not to mention, should all the different beings that they have. Have, have designed and that lit if you universe as as which all well done and then there's the seeds in the art I which I actually found to be really good. I know some people have complained about Modoc CGI. I I but it's but to put it nicely it's like the CGI for the villain in Shark Boy and Love Girl. If you, if you like, I the, the use of CGI day, uh, like I did, then like me, you'll get used to Moldock CGI I quite quickly. Okay, so overall, well, thinking about now, now this is much bigger than just another Ant Man movie. This is the beginning of a new phase in the MCU. You, not to mention the introduction to one of the bigger main threats. Acts of the saga, and on that regard, it did a good job on that. Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Man, and yet it's a, it's a exciting, exciting, team fun and entertaining feature. Ch, While I'm debating if this is better, better than Ant Man and the Wasp, or since it can have some, um, confusing twists, it does, does improve itself from the first. As with a highly engaging story, we. Three breathtaking visuals, intense, intense action scenes, great heart, talented acting, ting, and unforgettable characters. Just, I know thanks as of the MC, you will definitely enjoy this one. And with ease. 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 But I'll say now that all the Ant Man fans will be the one. And so we'll love this. If you enjoyed the previous two films, you're gonna have a fun time with this. Is yes. I know many people who have their mixed feelings on the MCU, you know, but to me, phase five is off to a great start. And that's what I'm proud to give this movie a solid nine out of ten. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!